second cases for fluid flow in constant pressure system. Yes? Why we neglect this term? This is heat dissipation directly related to um, viscous heat. And normally viscous heat is negligible unless you have extremely high velocity or extremely high viscosity. So for conventional flow, this term is normally zero. Okay. So for fluid flowing in relatively constant pressure, this term will be dropped because temperature, uh, I'm sorry, pressure does not change much in your system, okay? So what we have here would be differential of pressure with respect to time becomes zero and then what you get would be rho Cp dt by d time should equal to conduction only. Right? Third case would be when you have fluid with relatively constant density. If density is constant, that means this term does not change with anything. The density does not change with time, does not change with temperature. So when you differentiate it, it becomes zero. All right? So this term, d ln rho by d ln t at constant pressure becomes zero. Once again, it you it would give you the same result. Fourth would be system with stationary solid. If your system is solid, it is not fluid, there will be no convection, okay? In that case, velocity will be zero for sure. And then in fluid, pressure is, is constant, pressure does not change. In fact, we do not define solid, um, pressure in solid much. So if you replace V equal to zero in here, this term becomes zero. Pressure does not change with time, it becomes zero. Again, you get conduction only. So most of the time, you end up with the same equation. to use this equation, let's give you the example.
The example is the same example as what we derived earlier. Um, you have a pipe, vertical pipe. The fluid is flowing downward according to gravity. And then you have heat transfer from outside in. Okay? So this example is just heating the fluid inside. And suppose the heat here is constant flux. The heat flux is constant. All right? So every time when we start, normally we should analyze first about the problem. So we have motion of fluid. So therefore, you should have momentum transport. OK? Also, you have heat transfer. So therefore, you have energy transport as well. Two kind of transport phenomena. Regarding momentum transport, you have velocity profile, and you have three components of velocity. What kind of coordinate should we use? Cylindrical, right? So cylindrical coordinate, you have VR, V zeta, VZ. Which one is zero? VR is zero. V zeta is zero. VZ is not. So VC itself is function of R. All right? Then, regarding temperature, temperature is scalar, so you have only one single component. Its temperature is function of what? You have function of R, theta, Z. Is it function of R? Yes. Temperature change with respect to distance from center. So is this function of R? Is it function of theta? No, so this one can be dropped. Is it function of Z? Does temperature change with respect to length? Like, if you have heater wrapping around the pipe, the flow of fluid through this pipe, do you think the, the water inside would have higher temperature if you flow longer and longer? Yes, right? So therefore, it would be function of Z as well. So two variables. Now, in this section, since mass does not change, you have only single component. So we should always start with equation regarding mass balance. And mass balance is represented by equation of continuity. So start with equation of continuity. Let's drop terms. Is the first term zero? Can you assume density um, does not change with respect to time? Yes, at least you know that the system reached steady state. Anything does not change with respect to time under steady state assumption. So this becomes zero for steady state assumption. First term, on uh, second term, VR is zero. From here, we determine VR is zero. So this term is zero. V zeta is zero. So what we have would be VC does not change under change of Z if you assume that density is not 
is not a function of position. So as long as you say that you assume that density does not change much with respect to temperature. So therefore, along the way, through the z direction, rho does not change much. Then you get dvz by dz equal to zero. Assume that, assume density is relatively constant. Okay? Once again, you need to assume something, otherwise you cannot start. You need to start with one single equation. In this exam example, either you start by looking at energy balance first, or start by looking at momentum balance first. If in this case, there will be convection, right? So if there is convection, and it's not natural convection, then you need to know velocity profile. So it would be a good start to find out velocity profile first. In order to do so, you need to assume that the density does not change significantly with respect to temperature. All right? So by doing that, by doing what we discussed that we like to start with momentum balance first so that we can obtain velocity profile. We should move on to equation of motion or Navier-Stokes equation. Of course, we can use this one under assumption that density and viscosity does not change significantly with respect to position. Okay? So, in our direction. Should I do this in detail or just give you the result? Can you do it? No? Thank you. 